Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here to work a little bit more on my project that I'm creating for uh, the final days of summer. Well, the, the challenge is the final days of summer, hashtag final days of summer. And I'm working with the final days of summer collaboration kit. That is a collaboration between me and Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. We both created 16 pages in full color and also have the same 16 pages each of us in sepia um, so you will receive 32 pages from uh, Suzanne non-stop paper crafts and 32 pages from me line.arrow and <clears throat> I started off with let me just go back to the first thing we did I started making this a uh, suitcase ephemera holder that was challenge for week one then I created a little folio, a uh, travel folio that is created in week tw two. Sorry, I have another one I will show you later. Um, I created this envelope folio on camera. I have two, well, rather long videos about it because it was a lot of work. But this is what I have now. Um, there's a tag in here. It goes over here and you see the butterfly over there and um, there's a pocket here with a tag and it slides in over here and over here we have like a scrappy pad some collage over it and I have a little pocket over here and I have a pocket on the back and it closes like this and it also has a tag on front as a embellishment of the little folio so this tucks in here um, let me first show you this and then i will explain about this this is a file folder this is the the crease of the actual file folder i folded it in half and created some sort of booklet i did collage papers on the inside and on the outside and I also tucked in another strip of this. So a strip I cut out like this. And I glued that in over here. And the same over here. This one has a smaller one. This one also has one. So it is like a tuck spot with, yeah, I don't know how to say it, like 3D. <laughs> it is thicker, as you can see. I still need to do uh, some re-gluing and everything, I know, um, because I didn't use the right glue when I made it. And at the back I have this. Not sure how I had it. <laughs> it's been there for days. Let me... Okay, I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't know which way. Oh, it's already open. So this is the other booklet we created, uh, second week challenge. I created like a uh, faux um, tape with book pages and also with ink, which I really like. <laughs> so this is what we got. This is tucked in here and this is tucked underneath. And then you can do it like so. I'm going to leave it like this now. Um, because I want to put something over. The other thing I did, I'm not sure if you can see, I don't think the camera picks this up. Well, you can see it over here. There's a little bit like green color. And I have over here too, and a little bit over here. That is only water. I have been spraying water from a little bottle on top of the pages because I noticed when it was uh, I had papers and it was laying on a, a on a cloth uh, a wipe it turned like the in the in the blue the blue green the the teal color and I really like that so I thought I'm going to spray all over this folio 
Um, but the initial plan was to create stacked envelopes. Um, I and I also want to sew over this because it's not done yet. Because um, and, and I can't sew over this obviously because I already glued this on. But I can sew um, over this and over this. So I'm going to do that. But I also wanted to have stacked envelopes. And what I have been doing, I have been collaging on envelopes. What I did, I'm going to show you on one envelope. If I have an envelope, yeah, I do. I just cut off all the chair pieces because when you open it, it's obviously going to rip. And then I, so yeah, I need to grab my knife. Okay, this is this is a gross knife. I need this one. Then I just opened the whole envelope. You can also. Open it by cutting cutting off just a strip on top. That, that's an option too. And it's open too. Uh, I'll do it like this. And the reason why I'm cutting it open is because when I cut off a strip over here, it's going to make it even more short. And it's already very short. But then I opened it. I collaged on this side. Because when you close it, you see this. I collaged the back side and I collaged around uh, the frame. As I did over here. So I have three collaged envelopes. This one. This one. This one has. Oh, I didn't see uh, the tape over here. I forgot. So I need to. Yeah, I need. I need to. Um, can I still remove it? Because it's paper tape. It's like washi. Because I just need to remove a tiny strip, not the whole thing, just a strip. But yeah, I want to uh, stack these together. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But I also wanted to add something to the file folder. Oh, it's more like a folio where there is an envelope folio inside and little travel notebooks and an ephemera suitcase. But let's call it um, a file folder folio for now. Maybe that's easier to work with. And at the end we will see how it's been called. Maybe it ends up like being a journal. I, I don't know. But... Um, I did took these and scored a line on my scoring board. Just a little. And it has to be big enough that you can put eyelets in. So wide enough. So not like over here because then it will not fit. And I did that with all the envelopes. And that's the part you need to do to create these. Still debating what I'm going to put this one like so and maybe this one at the back then you have a bucket over here that's fun too so but then you have this and then the next thing I did I had another file folder um, made the same like spine um, it's slightly slightly taller than this one and slightly wider as you can see just just a little not too much so I want to put this exactly on here so it has like an extra cover and then I thought it needs something on front too. Uh, but I want, oh yeah, I'll have to explain about the envelopes. I want to put the envelopes, I don't want to put it on here. I want to put the envelopes here. So if I, let me just click this to make it more clear. So imagine they are attached over here and you can... And these are glued together or sewn together. These can be 
turned like so. And this one can be a side tuck. Uh, I think this needs to be a side tuck too. And maybe this can be a top uh, tuck, something like that. Okay, so that's what I had in mind. And then I thought, okay, I need something at the back. I'm going to create uh, hinges over here and put in tags. I will show you how I do that. And then I thought, yeah, this is rather plain. Let's let's create another flippy flappy. So I took some pieces from the file folder and I collaged over it with the pages. Still not sure how I'm going to use it. I can do it like so. So put this over here and put the other one over here like so. So this can be something. And you can flip this open and maybe um, you can yeah you can you can write on this you can you can also do it like so <laughs> put it over here and put the envelopes also on that side and have this one like so or have this long like so that's an option too so i still don't know what to do um I can also put this one on here, like so, and have it like so. These two go really well together. <laughs> and these are mine and these are Suzanne's. <laughs> so, yeah, we did a great job. Um, this can go over here. If I put it on here, I do need to cover this up. Um, but the initial plan was to do it like so. And I think I will stick to my original plan. Let's get started. Let's first uh, think about the envelopes and what you put in. Um, but I can make tags afterwards, so that's, that's not a biggie. But I need to decide whether I want it like so or like so. I think this needs to be a top pocket. This needs to be a side tuck. Yeah. I think it does. Or just this needs to be a top pocket. I think this can be a top pocket too. Okay, we're going to make... Uh, let me see again. Top pocket, top pocket, and a side pocket. Yeah. So first, let me do a little bit of inking. I did this one, but I forgot to do this one. And I'm going to also going to do a little sewing. And I'm going to do the sewing off camera, of course. And I'm going to do the sewing before I glue the envelopes closed. Otherwise, I can't do the sewing the way I want to. So yeah, we are still in the second week challenge making the little notebook travel folios. But we will soon... Uh, step into the third week challenge and that will be uh, I will show the, you the the freebies uh, that are involved in a challenge um, tomorrow on Saturday um, and then we can start on Sunday with the challenge so okay let's just um, first do a little bit sewing I am not going to sew uh, well I'm going to sew around the window, but not going to sew half on the page, half on the on the window, because then it's going to be ripped. I learned that the hard way. I am going to sew uh, on top. Uh, well, I'm going to sew all around. Now let me do the sewing off camera, and then you will see me back. So I sewn around all the envelopes. Um, threads over here Let's 
Because when you sew on paper, you have the white punches sometimes. So I'm just... The only part that I forgot to sew was this. This piece. I, I completely forgot. So, yeah. One part is sewn, the other part is not. And I'm debating what I'm going to... No, I'm not going to make uh, a notch in there. Because it's too close to the edge of the window. I think I have them like so. This one can like go like so. And I think I have this one at the back, if I'm correct. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Uh, if you don't have eyelets like I do, you can also um, stitch it together with some embroidery thread, punch a hole, the three, and then stitch it together and stitch it also onto the cover. Um, I said I wanted to attach it to the cover. But I'm still not sure if I want to have round corners. Mm, maybe I do. Yeah, I do want to round the corners a little. And I also have to think about um, things I need to uh, put on with the sewing machine on this cover before I put in the eyelet things with the envelopes. Otherwise, I can't do that afterwards when the envelopes are already on. I can't sew anymore. I'm just going to do some inking. Um... Okay, let me just also first make the hinge because I think that needs to be sewn on too. Because this is going to be not going to be sewn on, but going to be pressed in here with the eyelets. And if I want to sew around this or something over here, I can't do that when this is already on. So first moving to the back side um, of this. I need to, because this is rather large let me just grab my other it's slightly smaller I have no idea how small or wide it is I didn't measure but this is the size I wanted to have. And I'm going to score. This is about six, oh, it's six inches. No, six centimeters, sorry, not six inches. Um, and I'm going to score at let me think. Uh, three and a half. I'm going to score at four. At four. And the one next to four on the left. So you have some sort of little spine. I'm not sure if I'm saying it the right way, but.
I am doing this. Let me just measure a little. This goes on here, like so. Where can I put this? Do I want it like so? Double. Does it have room to flip? Does it need to be over here just a little? And do I want a long strip or do I want like cut in strips? Maybe I can cut them when I'm working on it. Got to ink the inside. Okay, I am going to glue it on just a little with this little strip thingy. This is like so. Can be. Somewhere over here. Yeah, this will work. I'm going, to do. I'm going to sew in here. This is going to be like so. It's going to move. So now we have two hinges over here. The outside flappy thingies, these. Where's the other one? I have to think about how am I going to attach this. I think I want it like so. Did I have it like so? Yeah, I think I did. Round the corners. I believe I can no I do have to sew around the borders first okay let me sew around these and let me sew this in and let me also sew around these borders so I'm going to sew over here same at the back side inside here and around these borders and then you will see me back so I sewn around everything um, this is going to be like so. I thought I had this on the front side and this. I forget every time. It doesn't matter how I put it on. Do I have it like so? No, I wanted this on the front, I know now. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting. This needs to be over here. This needs to be over here. Okay, I can glue these together. And I think I will also um, go over it with my sewing machine to make sure it stays, stays together very well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I sewn it together. Um, it's this so like so. This is going to go in here. Maybe I should sew this together too. I really don't know. I'm going to glue this in first.
tray. Okay, this is going to work. It's going to be like so. But this needs to be rounded just a little. Otherwise, it will not go over the, the file folder the right way. So, maybe... I just scored a few lines, so I am able to... Hopefully, bend it a little. Yeah, I can. You really have to round this just a little, otherwise it will not go around the file folder thingy. Okay, this, this can work. How? Let me first do this, and I'm going to do over here. But I had a the new bobbin, the wrong. I, I place it. In a sewing machine the wrong way and then you don't have a lot of lot of tension too and I always it was always okay what I'm trying to say it was almost empty too so I lost complete tension on the thread that what was I was going to say Push it down. Okay, I'm not going to be able to put a pin on there. I am going to um, press in eyelets to make sure it stays or should I just I want to stitch over here too because I'm going to cover this up it's not going to show I really need to keep bending this I do need to sew. Yeah, let me do a little sewing. Then you will see me back again. I need to put in the envelopes. No, I'm not going to do it over here. I thought about putting it over here too. <laughs> let me see if that would be fun. No. Yeah, it would be fun, but I'm going to do it over here. I'm just going to put a little glue on, just a little bit of glue in the middle, nothing too much, just to hold it in place, sort of. Okay, I'm going to glue these, not glue, I'm going to put these on here. Still debating whether I should put them over here. But I'm not able to... What do you think? Should I put it over here? Maybe that makes more sense.
but am I able to squeeze in the eyelets over there? With the big bite I can. I think it needs to be over here a little. What happens if I have this? And this can work. Okay, I'm going to get a go. Maybe just maybe I first need to glue them on before I put in the eyelids. Because if they shift, the whole thing is not going to fit. Change of plan. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> Still debating whether I'm going to do it or not. Okay, I'm going to put in the eyelets, but I'm going to do that off camera. <laughs> Okay, I got the eyelets in. I have to say, I wanted to put all the envelopes on here. But I realized I couldn't fit three envelopes through the eyelets. So this one was already glued on to the cover of this piece. And these came off, luckily. So I put eyelets in this one. So we have a tuck spot over here. And the other one I put over here. And I actually like it this way much better than I had planned. So I have those over here. This one over here. And it's closer like this. This one is over here. And I, and I put the pretty uh, side of the eyelet to the front of the cover. I'm also thinking maybe I should put some eyelets over here. Maybe do the same over here. We have this over here. Oh, I added a little bit of glue, but it's it's supposed to glue this way. Okay, we will see. Um, I'm going to cover this with a piece of fabric. Um, obviously, the way that it still can go open and close. But yeah, I really like this. I like this a lot. I want to be here. I said it before when I showed you the pages. Maybe I'm going to add a belly band over here. So you can still see all the pretty images. And tuck things in. And these are going to be the hinges. And you can also cut these in. So you have separate movable hinges. I will show you in the next video. This is the... Um, Yeah, how do you call that? It's holding something together. It's not a pocket. But I really messed up with the stitching. So I am going to um, do a heavy decoration or even put on a new um, image. A, a whole new sheet of paper. I, I don't know yet. I'm not going to do that today. And these are still in here. Um, and I also thinking about like putting in um, cheesecloth over here yeah I, I maybe even eyelets just for decoration <laughs> sorry and yeah I also want to put in an eyelet over here and I have to come up with a closure and I think I will put a tap thingy over here maybe I can punch one and just Hold it at that spot and see how it looks. This. Oh, and when you punch out, you also have tiny um, tabs. Look. Or you can also have it like so. Well, I'm going to do it like so. It's more pretty. But look. A tiny tap. Ok. 
Can I punch out another one over here? I hope I can. Yeah, I can. So I thought maybe I should put one over here. Oh, that really fits nicely. Just in between those two. And have one over here. Mm. Needs to be... Yeah, I, I think it needs to be somewhere over here. And maybe I can make a closure. So yeah. Well, this is it for today. Um, I hope you will give it a try because it's really fun to layer up stuff. And I'm still debating whether I'm going to put pages in here or not with the elastic binding. That's an option too. I, I don't know yet. We will see. Um... And I need to do a little bit more decoration and put in like tags and journal cards in here and add pockets. But I have a lot to play with still, so that will not be a problem at all. Uh, but yeah, I hope you liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, maybe you want to be a subscriber. Make sure you hit the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Especially with the challenges going on, you also know when I have a winner's drawing going on. Or starting a new challenge or giving new freebies. And I also have tutorials, I have different things. You can check everything in the description box down below. Also check out Suzanne's kit and make sure you watch the design team members because they are creating stuff with these kits too. And they are very talented. Some do not have a YouTube channel but are posting in the Facebook groups. Line.arrow, Haystack Crafty Corner and Sweet Pea Papers. But like I said, I have everything linked down below. Um, visit, check the events and you can still join in with week number one, week number two. And next week we have number three. And then we have a whole week to um, finish off all the challenges. So you have plenty of time if you just jump in. So, yeah, this is really it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay creative. I hope to see you the next time. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.